All right, so we just got a nice little, like, kind of late morning workout in, me and Frankie. Um, so, starting from here on out, we're gonna be documenting pretty much our whole weeks. Up until this point, we've just been, you know, we've been doing episodes, considering this a vlog, it hasn't really been a vlog. We haven't been taking you through what really we're doing and the actual journey of our company. And that kind of starts with me and my sales journey. So from that here on out, we're gonna be following me, the things I'm doing to get myself ready in the morning to do the best I can in my sales job through all my meetings and everything I'm kind of doing throughout my weeks. So from here on out, me and Frank are gonna be getting up early, getting a workout in the morning, start our day off right, and we're gonna be going right into work. Get back home, shower, get ready for work, hit a couple meetings early, and then I got to drop off a policy later on out east uh, to one of my clients. So I'll see you in a little bit after all ready. But you can check out some sexy footage of me and Frank are working out in the meantime. No, you can't, oh, can't see the it's way really here. It's just your face. <laughs> it's just your face. Oh, it's so much weight. It's so heavy. This is me and Frankie's second week working out in the morning, like before work. And it's like changed my entire, my whole week has changed because of it. Do you think so, Frankie? Do you think like, it, yeah, it's exactly. been like, the, frees up my whole day. I can, I can work late. I don't have to worry about like getting to the gym before like eight o'clock. Like, so as a general recommendation, if you have the ability to, I would work out the more, if you care about working out, I would get it done in the morning. That's why you can do all the sh more important shit that you have to do throughout the day. So yeah, it's been, I think it's changed everything. like fast and furious it was really weird it was like there was they did like an exhaust competition so they were just revving their engines there's like fire shooting out of the back of these like subarus it was really fucking weird but it was really cool um everybody there was like so into it you could tell like they, it was just these people like riding for that stuff but we actually got we got 30 i think 30 people 30 leads so we're working on those today so that's the first thing i gotta do in the morning me and tom have to um, have to run all these licenses and put them into the system, quote them, send it. We promised these people we were going to send them quotes by Wednesday. So we got to get that done today by sometime tomorrow. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is help Tom kind of put this stuff into the system. We got 30 like people that filled out our raffle slip. Out of those, how many were, how many did we, we got 10 that gave us good. full info, yeah. which was like a lot. And because there weren't that many people there, there really weren't. There I think like there was going to be a maybe. lot more. There was probably like 150. Where are we going? Well, um, well, me and Tom were doing. We were quoting some of the leads that we got at the event on Sunday, and I mean, it's we're definitely learning a lot. Like for next time we do it, because. We realized, you know, there's just a lot of things that we, a lot of pieces of information we didn't get, and it's just, honestly, it's hell, and I'm not having a good time. So I pretty much left it for Tom to do, because I don't want to do it. Um, but we're learning, we learned a lot from it. Like, next time we do it, we'll definitely, like, hone in on the information we need and be better at getting that information. So right now, I left Tom to do that. Right now, I'm headed to a client of mine that he, he knows somebody, he knows one of my clients. It was sort of a referral. And, but I'd never met him in person. So we just bound uh, an inland marine policy for him, for his equipment, his contractor's equipment. And I've never met him. So instead of just emailing him the policy, I figured I'd go introduce myself in person, you know, meet him. Um, this way, you know, I have a better relationship with him going forward. And if he likes, you know, this way we can actually build a relationship. If he likes me, maybe I can get some referrals from him. Um, I just feel like that's the best way to go about new clients. Cause a lot of my business and a lot of business as an insurance broker comes in through the phones. And you can't really get a personal relationship over when you're just you know talking to each other through email or through your phone 
sometimes you really can, sometimes you develop a rapport, but it's all from, in my opinion, I learned this from my dad, it's always best to just go out of your way to meet the person, meet the client in person and develop a relationship that way, you know, visit them throughout the year and, uh, and really actually build a, a long lasting relationship because insurance is one of those things where every year the policy can renew. So every year you have the chance to lose it, lose somebody, but every year you have the chance to give them a reason to stay. So for me, it's I, I wanna give every one of my clients a reason to stay with me, so I wanna develop a good relationship with them. So that's what we're doing now. So I got the policy right here, and uh, then I'm gonna head back to the office and finish out my deck.